Hey guys, this is Raj. You're watching NRI Tamilan Vlog. Today I'm going to decode CAA, CAB and NRC. So, Citizenship Amendment Act is an act that was created in 1955 by Indian government stating that anybody from uh, any country who comes inside India seeking refuge or asylum will be given a citizenship after 11 years. Now, in 2019, there was a bill which has been passed just like a month before stating that uh, you know, people with the neighboring countries from uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh uh, with the religions like Hindu, Christians, Sikh, Parsi, Buddhist and Jains will be given a citizenship. People who entered in December 2011 uh, will be given a citizenship right away because they're there in this country for pretty long time and based on some calculations uh, they have given the citizenship but the bill is passed but still the uh, effective date is yet to decide so the bill is not yet you know in effect now people you know during independence uh, the government said that you know people who wants to be practicing islamic can go to a different country because they were claiming for a different uh, countries like Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bangladesh were given a separate country where the majority of the people were Muslims and practicing Islamic and there were some Hindus, Sikh, Christians in this country already and they didn't want to come back to India after independence because they felt that is home but later they were treated as minorities there and they had some threats and people you know later the, as the generation passed they didn't like to stay in that country so they came back to India seeking refuge and asylum and they started living here and people with these religions will get citizenship as per this new act which is citizenship amendment bill which is passed in the parliament and which has been approved now why is Muslims not included in this during independence like i told they were given a separate country and they were treated as the you know majority of the people they were not called as minorities so seek having that as the population more people you know the population percentage comparing to other religions they thought that this is the right thing to do for the people who live here not many muslims from bangladesh pakistan or afghanistan will come back to india seeking refuge or asylum and uh, you know that's the reason the main cause of this act and just coming to this act again which was done in 1955 it's not just for three countries any neighboring countries or any countries uh, you know people who come as a refugee like right from sri lanka bhutan uh, myanmar uh, china uh, you know will be given uh, you know a refugee who comes as a refugee will be given as a citizenship for them after they are here in 11 years so that is not being cancelled that is that that is still in effect even if somebody from pakistan you know a muslim will come in to you know india seeking refuge or asylum and they say that hey you know i have a big threat in my country and i want to come back and i need you know i need to leave so i want uh, a shelter in this country yeah you're most welcome to come and come as a refugee and you know claim for your citizenship but that will take 11 years to do it because you're not part of this new act so that is the only difference here but it's not stopping people who are muslims already in india nobody is telling you to go back to any of other countries or your citizenship is cancelled you are in this country you belong to this country you are one of the most contributed person in this country your most important person for this country nobody is telling you know the muslim should go out if they're telling it's a wrong false statement this act is purely for other religions who have already come from a different country seeking citizenship will be given citizenship because they are called as minorities and uh, people are protesting that you know why the religion is discriminated yes the region the the reason for discriminating on the muslims is that these three countries which has been you know passed on the ball are muslim countries they are they are not minorities in this country and not many people come as a refugee or asylum seeking so this bill is not for them 
and they also still come back but it will take some time for them to get the citizenship not just in india there are so many other countries even in united states it is based on country driven where h1b uh, people who come as a you know highly skilled people who come into country contributing a lot of things into the country will get citizenship based on the country act not based on your talent so it's not just in india it's everywhere you know based on the country specific uh, the, the law is bold and based on that the country has been driven uh, now I don't want to get inside why this laws are built. Uh, there's so many, you know, reasons like hundreds of reasons to build this country to make to make it a better nation. And so now people are protesting, saying that there's a discrimination against religion. This is not discrimination against religion. It's just a passing a bill. People who are already in India seeking citizenship. Okay, now why not? uh for people from sri lanka coming into tamil nadu or andhra pradesh need asylum uh, they need citizenship because they come here with a fear of death and they need they need uh, you know shelter yes if if you are fighting for that that's a good cause uh, now we need to fight for all the religions uh, or for all the people who come as you know seeking for shelter india is never been uh, said that there's no shelter for the people they all come here they still get the shelter but it will take 11 years so we need to you know, ask the government you know to extend stating that people from coming from sri lanka myanmar bhutan uh, with these religions also should get the same act where they would get the citizenship immediately so that they can be you know happily be here and second thing you know you if you are a citizen you get other car passport uh, driving license and a lot of things right right from ration card now these people are not being benefited people who are in this country for last 10 years 11 years they have not even got any of these things they are not even getting benefited from the government so government says that okay all right i'll i'll just give you this you know I'll pass this bill so that you will be benefited. That's it. It's just a benefit. It's not discriminating somebody or pulling your rights somebody. So people in India who are Muslims need not fight saying that, oh, am I going to go away from this country? Am I may be thrown out of this country. No, you belong to the country of India. You are the main asset in India. You are the most important person in India. You are contributing a lot to India. And you're the most, most, most preferred and, you know, important person in India. So you will not be taken out because of this bill. This bill is for other three countries who came here with that. I hope this will help you understand how I decoded this CAB and CCA. And now let us me let me move on to NRC. NRC is not a bill. It's, uh, uh, it's just a law that is passed in Assam say, stating that please come and prove your citizenship. When they say that come and prove your citizenship, you have to go to the government and say that how you are citizen of India. You just need to prove it. It's not just for you know Muslims or anybody. It's for everyone in the country, everyone in that state, uh, you know, with all the religions. It's not religion ba based. And uh, you know, you need to just go prove yourself. It could be your ancestor by birth, by you know, naturalization, you know, it can be any ways that you might have got your citizenship. You're living here for so many years, you can do it. Now, okay, if you say, I don't have any of these documents, I know it, you don't have to still have to prove it that you're still an Indian citizen, right? Because you have lived in, in this country for so many years and you have your own house and I mean, you live in a house and you have kids and you, everyone have been here. So there's no point of you to prove with a document. It is always a proof that if even as local panchayat can say that yes, this person belongs here is more than enough. So it's, they made it very simple. I'm going to decode further uh, the difference between uh, CAA and NRC. Are they both same? No, they're totally two different things. It is like idli and this is like dosa. Both are batter, but it's cooked differently. It's totally different. Don't try to compare both of them. This is separate and this is separate. I know there's a lot of protests going on combining these two. It's totally a different topic. Second question. Do Muslims or Islamic should people should worry about these two? No, you don't have to worry about it. You are citizens of India. Just like others, you have all the rights with the same equality. So you don't have to worry about it. Is this NRC for a separate particular religion? No, it's totally different. It's not based on religion. Because of this bill, 
uh, or because of this law NRC which is passed in the Supreme Court does need to do with anybody in this country no this was the law which is passed to the Assam there could be a possibility that can be implemented for India that's that's not even in, in, in line but right now no so now there's now there's a law which is NRC which is being conducted so is there something that you need to prove yourself that you're a citizen of India no you don't have to then you might call what is this NRC NRC is just registering your citizenship in the registry that's it it's just registering yourself that you yeah I'm an Indian citizen that's it now you might ask like how oh, okay how is this citizenship is being decided based on article 1955 which was you know released for this act it's the same thing there's nothing has been changed since 1955 how people like uh, homeless people or you know like beggars or people who doesn't have a residence or a house they're in the street how will they prove their citizenship everybody in this country uh, some somewhere your name has been you know they are in any of the welfare organization anything that says that you're in this country or anybody would say yeah I've seen this person this here for a pretty long time is more than enough you don't need to carry any document or anything like that if you have a document it's good it's easier process if you don't have a document doesn't mean that it's going to affect you you need to just prove that you know yes I'm citizen of this India so this is just in SM and the next one is people ask is this based on gender no this is not based on gender it's for everyone I hope uh, this video will help you out in understanding what exactly is this bill passed and how people are taking it negatively and how you know they're getting confused with NRC and CAB yeah like I said like NRC and CB, uh, CAB is altogether two different things don't try to combine with these two and CAB is just for these country people who came inside India already waiting for the citizenship they're giving just a citizenship that's it it's you know we need to respect everyone so that we are giving citizenship for them they so that they have the equal rights that's it there's nobody you know is going to stop you saying that you're not a citizen of this country there's nothing discriminated against religion in this country stating that oh you need to come back and you know, prove your documents or get out of this country no not like that there's nothing you know discriminated against religion people in India people in uh, India especially Muslims have to, don't have to worry because you have each each and every equal right that other person has always remember that you are the most most important person on this earth you know because you are so well educated so so talented you are doing so much contribution to the country and you keep doing the same because you are the best and nobody's proving nobody wants to prove that you're you know you're Muslim and you have to get some documents or you don't get you don't have a citizenship now you have to go out of the country nothing like that so don't worry uh, I'm not here telling don't protest but try to protest for the right cause you know Jalikatu how the protest happened everything is for the right cause so if you're protesting something yeah let's protest for the right cause not just based, based on the rumors that's going on you know causing a false statement and causing everything I hope this wall you know this this video has helped you out in decoding this will act in a simpler way so with this I know we would say that we are proud Indians and I wish everything goes well and see you in the next video until then take care and bye and don't forget to you know, subscribe my channel to NRA Tamilan vlog